Hey YouTube, it's Candice Nicole here and I have a tutorial for you with this beautiful, um, I'm calling it a sunset gradient eyeshadow. It's actually very gorgeous. Let me. <laughs> and it's very like subtle. It's not like slapping you in your face and it's very cute. I used the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette, Great Buy, which I will discuss later. Well, I will discuss in more details later on in this video. I'm also going to give you some details on this hair that I'm giving you right now. So keep watching. So I don't have anything on my lid as of yet, but see, this is the other eye. Um, so yeah, let's get right into it. So taking the BH Malibu palette, I'm going to use the brown that's in this palette. And I'm going to be taking an e.l.f. creased brush and I'm just going to create and define the crease line um, that you see in this look. You know, that, that brown. Um, and actually, yeah, so I just pull my eye and I go back and sweep back and forth in my crease and it just gives me that definition and I don't need it to be perfect because I'm going to blend all that out. Anyway, I just want to create that definition so that I could concentrate the color. Um, and I have depotted my NYX Jumbo Pencil into, I believe this is a Sonia Kashuk Concealer Palette. But it was the only space that I had open to depot my things, so it looks a mess. But, um, I simply take the NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I don't go over the crease line. So I keep it right below the crease line that I've created with the brown to help me achieve this. <laughs> so I simply drag it all over the lower lid. Voila. Okay, I simply am going to be using the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. Great colors. Um, I'm going to be using these three, yellow, orange, and red, to achieve this gradient. So starting from light to dark, going from inner to outer, I'm going to take the yellow um, I get enough on the brush just to give me that pigmentation and I pat that on the inner third and try not to go over that crease line. Oh, my lashes got stuck. <laughs> So taking that same brush, I simply just wipe it off. I take some of the orange and I begin to pat that on, overlapping with the yellow, not going over the crease. Okay, and then next I take the red color and Simply put that on the outer. And just overlap all of that. So, as you see on this eye, I put more orange. So I'm just going to go back in with more orange. 
just to make sure your eyes are even you know they're not gonna be like dead on perfect but you want some congruency between your eye look okay and then as I did with the other eye I go back in with the brown from the Malibu palette and just to further define that crease and to um, make my eyes look similar <laughs> And at the same time, just like blending all of this together. So I put way too much. I put way too much brown. So I'm just going to go in with a blending brush. Blend all that. Blend it up and out, up and out. Then I'm gonna blend this side too. And then lastly, you're just gonna put on your, whatever you choose. I choose to do um, liquid eyeliner. I think cream eyeliner would be really pretty with this as well. So yeah. So here is the look. It's just your gradient sunset. That's what I'm gonna call it. Very pretty, very vibrant. Um, very good for the summer, you know? Um, so to top this off, I will probably end up just wearing a nude. But of course you wanna put something on your cheeks. I don't really have on any real concealer. Um, I did put on some Prep and Prime. But I'm just going to keep my cheeks very um, glowy. This is from the the blush from the Malibu palette. This particular bronzy one. And it gives you a nice like glow. Which I really like. Um, this has become one of my favorite blushes. Because it gives you makes you look so bronzy. And I love that. Um, I was going to put on orange lipstick, but I like it better with, like, this new situation that I have going on. And I will probably um, put on lip gloss, but I'm not going to do all that. So, to give you deets about this hair, this is a wig that I made using hair that I ordered from AliExpress. I dyed this hair, and it came out to this really, um, like, burgundy color I use Clairol textures and tones and then um, this hair was a lot longer it was actually 28 inches and I cut it down to right about my boob um let me see um so yeah it drastic transformation but I love it um this hair was actually I got four bundles and a closure for 230 which is like nothing but as you all know AliExpress is a hair is a very hit or miss and I think this one actually hit I'll be sure to put the seller of this hair in the description box below because um per the usual AliExpress they always have sales and the hair always turns out nice so this is a full wig um that I simply take on and off and I simply wear it to the side because I think that's cute but I also using the elastic band method I'm able to switch it to a middle part um, I gotta tuck my widow's peak. <laughs> Switch it to a middle part, and um, I'm out here. And then if I wanted to wear it to the other side, which I'm not the greatest fan of wearing my hair this way, but if I wanted to, I'm given that ability as well because of the elastic band method. So for wig wearers, if you do choose to do um, wear wigs the elastic band method gives you so much versatility um so I love that about it and as you see there's my band <laughs> but um yeah so basically I did this tutorial to show off 
I'm sorry, I have to switch my wig back because this is so not comfortable for me. Um, okay, that's better. <laughs> so, I did this tutorial basically to show off the BH Cosmetics Take Me to Brazil palette. This is a very good buy. You get 30 colors, 30 eyeshadows for $9.95. Um, and they're all vibrant colors, including a frosty white and a matte black, which are going to be, you know, staples in makeup wearing forever. Um, but these colors are so versatile and they're pretty much everything. And it's definitely a bargain for your buy. I love them. I just picked up this palette after like eyeing it for months. And I'm so glad I did. It's everything. So, yes. Thank you for watching. Please be sure to give me that thumbs up and also comment. Give me your feedback. I'm really interested in knowing what you guys have to say. Let me know. Conversate. Converse? Converse? Whatever. <laughs> um, also, be sure to follow me on Instagram at I'm Candice Nicole. And thank you for watching.